Hi everyone, welcome back to Didsbury Art Studio. I'm Sally and we are going to be doing a video today that is a smocking video and the actual results come out like brickwork which is a really fun design. So I'm going to teach you how to do this Canadian smocking and if you're interested stick around, watch the video and I will see you shortly. Blue satin fabric and underneath I've got my permanent marker one inch square grid on paper which is just tucked underneath. I've used masking tape to stretch the fabric out and I've used my water erasable pen for the grid. So I've used a meter long ruler as well. Basically this is going to be the design that we're going to follow. It's a brickwork smocking design. So you'll just need to copy that. And I'm going to use my pen again and I'm going to follow this design, draw it out. I've left a couple of inches around my actual grid and I've got 22 inches across and 16 up and it's going to decrease by 50% on both sides so I only really want a mini sample that's the reason why I've done it that big and I'll probably speed it up as I go along. So when you're drawing it out by the way just make sure that you are the lines don't necessarily have to be accurate because they're temporary lines anyway and they're going to be removed when we put water on it later on the back but just make sure that you're following the actual pattern and you're going from one corner to the other in your little grids. Any sort of discrepancies anywhere where this isn't accurate can really show up on the final piece, so just watch out what you're doing. So this is how it looks, quite a simple, design on the back. With the Canadian smocking you don't have to use a sewing machine, it's going to be hand stitching. So I've got a needle, my scissors and I've got my upholstery thread which is a really thick thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here at the bottom left, my bottom left, and I'm going to nip and then I'm going to head over to this left hand corner, tiny little nip in the fabric, like so. I'm just going to pull that. And once again, tiny stitch. I'm just going to wrap that thread around. Oops. To secure that. And then I'm going to head over that diagonal, over to this corner. I'm going to pull that thread to the other one. Make a little stitch. Try and pull it through. Like so. And then we are going to head up over here to the next triangle. And I'm going to pull my thread through. This I want to remain quite slack, so I'm not pulling it. I'm just going to pull the thread through, but hold on to it like so. and then over to this diagonal. So make sure that I get into the corner of the grid and pull that through.
again. And then I can see this diagonal here. So I'm going to head over to this corner. And then pull that. Make sure that the lines join. And I'm just going to do a little stitch to secure that together. So now there's the diagonal, so I'm going to head over to this corner here, nip into the fabric, keep that slack, that one, so I'm just going to do a little stitch in there again. And then over here. Then you just pull the threads so that they match here and then tiny stitch like so and then find the other one, which is here. And you're going to pull again. So match those up. I'm just going to do two stitches there. That's where we're up to. So next I can see my next one is here so I'm going to go straight up with just a little stitch like so and hold that down because I'll not I'm going to head back this way. So I've done a line now, turn it over show you where we're up to. So it looks like that at the minute and it will make sense as we go along. I have finished two rows there so far, just flick it over to show you. And this is the start of the brickwork effect. So these are going to be flattened down when we use the iron later. I've got quite a long way to go across here. So I'm going to crack on with that and come back to you towards the end.
Finito. So that's it, done and dusted. Turn it over. And this is what we've got. So this is the brickwork. And what we have to do is go and iron it now so that it all goes flat. And then we're done. So I just need to remove the water soluble pen. Feels lovely again, actually. Very textural. Iron this. And I've got it on a low setting. So you can see what's happening here. Hope you enjoyed this video today on the brickwork smocking. Let me know in the comments if you do have a go yourselves. Also let me know if you're a maker, an artist, a teacher or a student. It would just be great to sort of connect. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the notification button to let you know when I'm uploading next. Take care then. Bye.